Kitakubu. Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome back to another Fate Grand Order video where we talk about things that happen behind the scenes with the developers of the game. In this video, we'll be talking about a servant that gave developers a hard time to make. FGO gameplay director Anjo Makoto said that making this servant gave him trauma. That servant is none other than Sakamoto Ryoma. During the creators talk stage at Fate Grand Order Fest 2018 event, which is also known as the third anniversary, Anjo Makoto talked about the difficulty of making servants. Anjo said that Sakamoto Ryoma was the first servant where the team had to make two characters move simultaneously, the second character being Oryo of course. When making the servant, both Ryoma and Oryo were made separately and then later put together. Anjo said that the process to figure out which movements worked well with each other took a long time to decide. They created a lot of different animation motions just for the two. They tried different methods such as letting the animations happen randomly when they attack, but Anjo said it just didn't feel right. He even mentioned that Oryo had a version where she planted her feet on the ground while she did her uh, gaddling punch attack, but they ended up going with the current version because they thought it was better. Because Ryoma was a welfare character, they didn't have to worry about making more ascensions. If they did make more ascensions, he said it would have been very stressful to make. He also also mentioned that it saved a lot of data. Anjo also mentioned that the Noble Phantasm was the hardest to make. The development team had to make more than a dozen different types of animations for the Noble Phantasms. He said jokingly, every time I see his animation, I feel like throwing up. He also mentions that the process to make Ambani and Mary read was different because unlike Sakamoto Nyoma and Oryo who were always together when you bring them into a quest, Ambani and Mary read didn't attack at the same time. They both attacked in different frames. So there you guys have it, Sakamoto Nyoma is one of the servants that gave the development team a hard time to create. I'm pretty sure they have a whole bunch of other servants that gave them a hard time, but he said specifically Sakamoto Nyoma was with a headache so there you guys have it thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have yet to subscribe to the channel it'd be really awesome if you guys do and i will definitely make more of the behind the scenes of fgo development kind of videos so look forward to that i'll see you guys in the next one laters